Hi everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I wanted to give you guys a closer look at the Comfort Light Pro on Kobo e-readers, the Kobo Aura H2O right here, and it's also on the Kobo Aura 1. So, so far, these are the only two e-readers that offer this sort of feature. Uh, Onyx had uh, a new model on display at a trade show a while back that had a similar feature, but so far it isn't available yet. So, uh, Kobo is the only one that has this uh, setting where you can adjust the color of the front light. So if you like more of an orange tone to your front light, you can uh, go in here and set it towards the right end of the spectrum or uh, you can have it more of a natural light. So this is the Kindle Paperwhite. Uh, like all front lit e-readers, you only have the standard color that it comes with. So this is just like the natural lighter tone like it would be down on the left end of the aura. So with the Comfort Light Pro, you've got that option to customize the color and you can also turn it on auto so it will automatically adjust depending on the time of day it'll get more orange as the night goes on and it'll be like blue during the day uh, so yeah the Kobo Aura and the Kobo or Kobo Aura H2 and Kobo Aura 1 are the only two e-readers that have this feature so far but uh, the color is quite a bit different on the Kobo Aura 1 as you can see here it's a lot more drastic it's more on the reddish end of the scale than it is orange I mean you can customize it a little bit here and it's got a little more of a pink hue to it then the Aura, which is more uh, yellow, the Aura H2O. So yeah, definitely a big difference in the color temperature between the Front Light Pro and both of these, but uh, front lights, they vary so much. Um, it's hard to say if this is gonna be like this with all Cobalt Aura 1s and Cobalt Auras, because uh, yeah, like, I mean, it can vary a lot from one device to the next, so I don't know. This was one of the first Cobalt Aura 1s to come out, so uh, they may have refined the color temperatures a bit since then, so I don't know, it could be a little bit different. On newer models, uh, it's hard to tell. Cobalt doesn't have any retail presence in the U.S., so you can never just go down to a store and take a look at them. It's all just ordering online and see what you get. So here's a closer look. Uh, you can also um, adjust the like time of your bedtime, so it'll sort of uh, change the light depending on that. Um, you can go in here, and it'll tell you more about how the Comfort Light Pro works. Uh, so it's just basically the blue light coming off of here. It just filters out the blue light and changes it to the orange end of the spectrum. And right, right there, it talks about the uh, how it automatically adjusts if you have the auto setting turned on. So yeah, it's a nice feature to have if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, personally, I just uh, never can get used to reading out of the orange end of the scale. So I always just like the natural light better, but I know some people do like the yellow tone better. So I think it's pretty cool that they let, give the option the user can customize the color temperature exactly how they want. And of course you got the brightness dial and that kind of affects how it looks as well. So like in the medium zone here on the H2O2, it's sort of just a yellower, it's a, more, a lot more subtle than at the um, right end of the scale where you get a lot more, uh, it's a lot more drastic in, as far as the color temperature on the background. So uh, with the, I like the, the light here on the Aura H2O better on the Aura 1 because at the far end of the spectrum, the text is really nice and clear. Um, it, it, the contrast is really good. It's not quite as drastic as the color is uh, like on the Aura 1 where it's got that more of a that darker orange color and then what that darker orange kind of does is it kind of makes the text not look as good but it looks fine kind of like at a medium setting here like three quarters of the way up the text looks good but uh, once you go to the far end of the spectrum uh, it kind of seems to wash out the text a little bit more on the um, Aura 1 here so it's just one of those things you kind of got to fine tune it. I do, like I said, I do I think it's a little bit better on the H2O. It's not quite as drastic. It's a little bit more subtle in the color, but uh, it does work either way. So I do like the cool end of the spectrum the best. Just the white background is the most paper-like, but uh, and it all comes down to personal preference. I think it's cool that they give you the option to change the color and that you get uh, the option to use the auto dial if you want to just have it automatically adjust. So uh, some tablet apps work that way too. So it's kind of cool to have that option uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Check out theebookreader.com for more info and more in-depth reviews of these two devices. Uh, thanks for watching.